Hi, and welcome back to my own utopia. I am Kaylina, and I have some work in progress and some finished objects to show you guys today. So before we get into that, I would like to say welcome to all my new wonderful subscribers and subscribers that has been here for a good minute. Welcome back, you guys. And I hope everyone has had a wonderful week and weekend compared to uh, my last live. If you've missed that, please go check it out. I have it up above. Uh, sorry, my watch is giving me notifications. <laughs> um, so if you like content like this, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and do not forget to hit the bell and all for any time that you would like to be notified of any videos that I put up into the future. And if you're always wondering why in the tarnation is she always looking down, it's because I have three lovely boys, special needs. My oldest one is seven, my middle is four, and my youngest one is two years old. We have seizures and sleep problems and everything else like that, and two... <laughs> If I did not do the videos during nap time, I w you probably would not be able to see me or hear me, honestly, too. So I have my boys on the monitor. That is why I'm always looking down to make sure that they are doing okay and everything is sell, uh, safe sailing. So I would like to first off say thank you to everybody that showed up to my live last what was it Saturday or Sunday? I will Sunday. I will pop that up there. Thank you for all the wonderful comments and the participation and everyone that's been showing up after and everything and all the loveliness that y'all have given me. I wanted to just say straight up thank you so so much. And then for my last live, it's like I've had a big boost all of a sudden. So I wanted to say another huge huge thank you. To everybody that is saying all the sweet and kind comments that has been coming out so I just wanted to throw that out there so thank you everyone and thank you for being so patient with me through the big remodel for my kitchen still not over unfortunately my brother is come down sick so everything has been put on halt well that just makes it happier for me because that means I get caught up on cleaning my house and doing more schoolwork for the boys. So either way, I never get a break. <laughs> so before I do a little bit of chatting or I might just throw it in in between, I think I'll just go ahead and get in to show you guys what I've been working on. It's not much. Like I said, it goes from working on my kitchen to immediately reverting back to trying to get caught up on <laughs> cleaning my house and washing clothes because the plumbing had to be fixed and everything. So I'm getting caught up on all of that as well. So, um, the only thing I've really put my hands on, but I'm about to have to slow down and stop because it's actually like really hurting my wrist again is my virus meets granny shawl. Well, oh, yeah, let's go ahead and deal with that one first. I have one finished object. I'm going to have to probably get a photo and put it up here. But if you, I did show it on my last live. Yeah, I'll go ahead and talk about that. Um, Like I said, go check it out. It's up there and I'll try to link it down below. But it is an awesome hat pattern. I finished the hat. I decided to, dropping everything. Um, I decided not to do the cow because I did not have enough yarn and I did not have enough time to be able to go back to Hobby Lobby and to go get more yarn to get it. So I was just like, you know what? The hat will be fine. Unfortunately, my cousin did not get to have her 16th birthday because family issues, health issues. So I think what we're going to do for the family is we're going to just pick another day. And we're going to do another weekend and we're just going to celebrate her birthday late. Um, but she absolutely loved the hat. I did the hat in a like cream color, but this is what it looks like. I just didn't do the pom pom. What I did was that I think I, I did the ponytail. And I did double crochet at the very top of the ponies or the uh, ponytail. I just did a slip knot ponytail uh, holder, and I just went around 20 times, double crochet, and then I just followed the pattern. 
But this is what it looks like close up. It's just mine is more of like a cream color. But I follow the pattern to a T except for the very top. I will try to remember to link the pattern down below. If I forget, please put it down there and I'll be happy to do it. It's from 5littlemonsters.com. Her pattern is for free on her website. It's called the Bean Stitch Cow Pattern. Um, oh, that's the cow. And then the uh, hat is called the Bean Stitch uh, Hat Pattern. So, I absolutely love this. It was very simple, very quick. And I think that's what I really wanted. was just something satisfying to be able to just finish real fast and that's what made me really happy so that is a finished object um so the cowl like I said it's been hurting my wrist recently and I think a storm's coming in so my arthritis is who going through the roof um not including me doing a lot of housework trying to get caught up on everything and clean and then here I have my oldest's birthday is coming up on the 29th of August. Oh my God, he's going to be eight years old. So we might actually do it on his birthday. So I really have got to get this house under control and caught up and everything else like that to be ready for his birthday party. Oh, and we got to get the outside ready. Oh my God. Yeah, just, um, I'm really stressed. <laughs> but yeah. Um, my little boy is going to be eight years old. Oh, yay. Yeah, the thing fell. But, um, I'm doing the Virus Meets Granny Shaw. And I absolutely love it. I'm only doing two skeins. I think the last time I showed it to you guys was the yellow <laughs> had to think for a second so i did the yellow and then i attached the a little bit of yellow and then the orange so the last time i showed it to you guys i've done the orange and then one granny or not granny virus yeah i'm finishing up the virus now and then i'm going to be doing a whole nother set of the virus i am doing this in two skeins of Lion Brand. It's on the floor. Let me pick it up for you guys. The Mandala. So as soon as this skein is over, I'm done. <laughs> I am really excited. So that's what keeps me going. It's like, okay, after this, I'm not going to be doing a shawl for a while. <laughs> I really need a break. Um, this is in the 30, 30 bird, Thunderbird. Oh, wow. Uh, colorway. It starts with yellow, orange, red, deep red. And then it looks like it goes into like a brownish color and even a darker brown blue and then green It's barely had any green honestly in my opinion i wish they put more of a green in there but they did just a touch of green before it started right back over again um so this is the colorway it is a five Point three ounces, 150 grams, 590 yards, 540 meters. It is a lightweight number three. And they say you can use a five millimeter hook. And that's what I'm using. And that's everything. Yep. So that's what I'm doing. Um, since individuals actually said that they wanted 
this uh, shawl since I told individuals, I was like, I don't know, or my last live, my utopians, that's it. Um, on my last live, I was like, I don't know what to do with the shawl. I love the shawl. I love making the shawl whenever I go through my points of making shawls, but I don't wear them because in my opinion, they fall off my shoulders with my boys and everything else like that. They are very high strong. Um, and what I mean by my boys are high strong and special needs is I deal with ranging between developmentally challenged and we have special need or we have autism ranging from ex almost extreme to very very mild and we have brain disorders seizures everything else like that so my arms and my body has to be free and free of objects and clingy clothes so just in case of any and we're dealing with adhd if anyone's ever dealt with that, you know, um, I have to be free and ready. So I'm constantly on the go, constantly moving, constantly my hands and everything has got to be free with my boys and to make sure everything is, um, I'm always on guard basically. So for a shawl, if it's not able to stay on me, and I have to constantly recorrect and constantly keep my hands on my on my shawl or on an object of what I'm wearing. I don't do it. I can't do it. So I'm, my life is way too busy. So that's the only reason why I don't wear shawls. Now, if there's a way I can have it on and I don't have to worry about it or whenever I pick up one of my boys or deal with a seizure activity or something else like that and it's not in the way, I will love it and I'll wear it and everything else like that. But... It's nothing that's negative to this. I mean, I love it. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love the pattern. I love everything about it. But for my lifestyle, I can't wear it. <laughs> I can't enjoy it, to tell you the truth. Maybe later on in age, I will be able to. But So I explained that in my last live, that if anybody wanted it, let me know. And I will put it into a secret uh vlog so that's what i'm gonna do is as soon as i finish it i am going to put it into the vlog it's going to most likely be a wednesday of whenever i finish it and i show it off and that's when it's going to be so just go ahead get ready watch this cute little ball be uh dwindling down to almost nothing and as soon as it does that's when i am going to give it to you subscribers that actually do watch my videos and interact with my videos and everything else like that so be warned that's what i've decided to give back to you guys so this will be a gift to y'all whenever i am done i will make sure i wash it block it and everything but i'm very excited to be able to sit there and say i am going to give it to you my utopians whenever I get done. So yeah, that's, I wanted to make sure I say that. Um, I'm also working on my sock. I think I've gotten a row done <laughs> with it. So there's really nothing to move forward on it to tell you the truth. So, um, I did pick up a new dishcloth. I wanted to start doing, I'm about, I've done three. So this is what it looks like. I'm trying to move the shawl over to the side so it don't hit the ground. I'm not done yet. I still need to do the outside. Or the border. So I've got three of these. One, two, three. Um, it is from... The pattern is from Yarnspirations Sugar and Cream Scalloped Crochet dis Dishcloth. I have done this pattern before and I absolutely love it. There is a YouTube tutorial as well. So that's why I keep it into this so I can easily grab it and I know I can do it. So this is what it looks like. 
see if I can bring it closer for you guys. There you go. Um, now, I have some pink down here. Some very light pink. So I'm going to be pulling the pink out. And that's what I'm going to do as the border for these three. So, hit, hit. <laughs> she knows who she is. And I'm going to be go ahead and ship this out as soon as I get done with this. And this is going to be done maybe today or tomorrow. All depends on how busy my schedule is. <laughs> so, I know it's a new whip, but... I'm about to honestly start putting almost everything on in timeout. As soon as I get done with the shawl, I'm putting my socks in timeout. I'll come back to them later. I've just, I'm done. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. And with everything that's been going on, I've, a lot of YouTubers are talking about using, losing their Crojo or basically their Mojo and I'm losing mine as well. The momentum, the everything. I'm getting excited about the holidays coming up. But I want to take a smidge bit of a break. So the only thing I honestly want to start doing, the only thing that's really grabbing my attention and keeping my attention is dishcloths. They're very simple, very easy, I can sit there and get it done over with and I'm le learning a new stitch. So it's also challenging to me as well. And it's not taking me too long. So be ready. <laughs> I am wanting to do dishcloths. I am wanting to do different patterns. I'm wanting to do the, what is it? The basket weave one. I'm wanting to do that. So I might do a tutorial after I do it once. If I'm wanting to do it a second time. I'm wanting to do the Celtic Knot. I'm wanting to do all of those. So I'm just having, if I'm having a little bit of an inspiration, I'm getting bored of those, then I think the best thing for me to do is to just follow who I am. And that is just put it in time out, come back to it later. <laughs> but I am finishing the shawl. I'm going to go ahead and push through it as long as my wrist allows me to. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm putting my socks into timeout for the moment, but I'm wanting to do disc claws, not just crochet, but I'm wanting to do knitted as well. I mean, there's some knitted ones that I want to do so bad. Like there's one where I think it's like graft and it's a turkey. So I'm like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. So I'm wanting to do a little cute little dishcloth. I want to do a corner to corner knitted one. I'm wanting, what is it, like the old granny one. Um, I'm also wanting to do the turkey one. I'm wanting to do one with the pumpkin on it. I mean, just all of those. So I have a little bit of inspiration and I've I have that inspiration. I don't want to make it boring for you guys because I know if it's boring for me, I don't want to do it. So, I mean... I feel you. I'm there with you guys. So, I feel like I'm repeating myself. <laughs> so, like I said, to move forward, I'm just going to go ahead, finish the shawl, and then put my socks on, time out, <laughs> put my amigurumi in time out, and work on holiday stuff. That's what I'm wanting to work on. So, and dishcloths. But, yeah. <laughs> Oh, um, I wanted to put it out there to the winner that won my Christmas in July Fairies uh, giveaway. It says that it got to you, the package did, and I would like you to uh, email me back if you can or put it into the comments down below that you did receive that gift, please, because I've emailed you and yet I still have not gotten a comment back or an email or anything like that, and I forgot to say something on the live, so I'm sorry for that. Um, some news for my Newtopians or my Utopians. I'm thinking about maybe starting to have a little bit of a news section every once in a while about yarn. So yarn news. <laughs> um, it's going to probably start off with what's going on here 
what's going to be happening in the future or at the particular moment or who am, whomever I am working with. I'm going to put it into the new section. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have it separate or if I'm going to be putting it in, but at the particular moment I'm putting it into my videos. So I have a new live that's going to be coming up and I'm going to be going live with Kaylin from Kay's Crochet Haven. I had to think for a second. I keep wanting to say something else. Um, I will have the date down here. I think it's on the 21st of August, 2021. I will be going live with her at 1230 Eastern time. That is my, tw my time. Um, so if you want to just Google 1230 Eastern time, what would that be on my time? And it'll be able to inform you. I am willing to go live one other time throughout the week. If you want to start seeing me more often and everything else like that, just pop it down into the comments down below. What would be best for you guys? Um, I keep going into my thing and it keeps telling me that Thursdays and Wednesdays are best for you guys. That's when majority of y'all flock and watch my videos. So I just can't do Thursday. I'm sorry. I just, life's way too busy for that day. Um, so there's that. I also have somebody else that's wanting to go live with me as well. I told her, yes, I would love to go live with her. So as soon as I get the A-OK -okay for that one, I will definitely inform you guys and I will um, pop it down here as well. So next week, uh, another news for my utopians is next Wednesday is going to be what you working on Wednesday. So if you would like to join and show everybody what you're working on, your finished objects, it doesn't matter what it is. It can be diamond paintings. It don't matter. I don't care. I just want to show it off. I love everything that you guys are showing me and wanting to show off and everything. So please email me. Everything will be linked down below. Uh, join me over at my Facebook group. I will have that link down there as well. And I usually give a heads up. Hey, I'm about to do it. Pop it down below. Um, so that's all for the news. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to pop up off of here and I will talk to you guys later. And I hope everyone has a wonderful week. Please be safe and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.